now. Who you heard the song? Now. Okay, I see Liam. Hi, Father. Namaste. Hello. Namaste. <laughs> Um, so it felt um, auspicious and, and good to come today in front of you. Yeah. Um, this last day, somehow it feels like uh, something uh, opens and then uh, closes or resists a little bit to this uh, recognition. But at the same time, um, it's very clear that this is not the truth, no? And Yes, just wanted to, to expose and uh, lay this at your feet. And if uh, you feel any any guidance um, to give here and to, to come into this heart that it's beyond uh, any movement, it, it would be very beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. So I feel very good. I feel very good about what you're saying. But just to um, help everyone, um, what is open without any notion? Yes, this awareness. What is awareness without any notion? <laughs> yes. Yes, just this. This without any notion. <laughs> yeah, that's good. We are just communicating, so we, we have to use some word. But you get the idea, isn't it? That, and if we if we make an idea of open to the truth or close to the truth, then anytime we are open to what we think is happening is openness to the truth, it can be attacked by the mind with the idea of close to the truth. See, just like I was telling Nupur earlier that um, if we if we get an idea that I came to satsang and in speaking to Ananta, there was such clarity. You see, that is already like a flag saying, come hit me. You know, we don't see it because we feel like, okay, this I, I got this. You see? But that's just an open invitation to the mind which comes and says, clarity? I'll give you cloudiness, blurriness. You see, so anything that we can define will be attacked. Okay? So many times we get into this kind of um, play of the opposite. I'm so open when I'm in satsang, but when I go to the marketplace of the world, I become closed again. Really? Do we actually know any of this? At best, they're kind of pointers. But who are they talking about? You see? So, so don't judge yourself on these parameters. In fact, don't judge yourself. You see? Don't judge any state. Don't judge yourself. Just open and empty. You see? That, okay, good point. <laughs> so the open that I'm talking about is not something that can come and go. You see? Open beyond the notion of open. Like, the minute you try to be open and empty, you're still in a position. You're sitting like this. I'm just representing to make the point. No, somebody says, what are you doing? Oh, Ananta said, be open and empty. Is it? Is it? If open is like a state, then we have to be more open than that. To be open is not to be open. <laughs> you have to edit today, Satsang. <laughs> Who's with me? If you're being open, then you're no longer being open. Is it like Guruji jokes? No? He talks about be natural. 
if you're being natural or you're trying to be natural, you can't be natural. You see, that's why um, I talk about the power of now. No? Like everyone knows in the now, there is no problem. You see, all of us have read this beautiful point in that right now, there is no problem. So be, to be free from suffering, just be in the now. Finish. You see, what's the problem? The attempt to be in the now is not in the now. You see? So it can become another mental expedition. All I have to do is be in the now. I'm just being in the now. Oh, yesterday I was being in the now so badly. Today I'm being in the now quite nicely. You see? <laughs> so, so then all the actual being in the now is gone. You see? So it's not a state or an absence of a state. Mother? Yeah. Um, it, it feels here like um, some attachment like to the perfume of, of, of the self, like when somehow, or, or to ex the experience, like somehow when the experience changes, then, then something like uses that to, to um, bring again this notion of a person that can come or go out from this, no? Or like an attachment to to the openness or the, the peace that comes uh, with awareness. Yeah. yeah, and that's it. If you notice it, that's it. Mm -hmm. You see? Because if you make a position with regards to it, which is then, I am afflicted with this attachment. You see? Then there's no solution to that attachment. So some things will just naturally come into your attention, you see, into your focus, and uh, they'll be spotted and that's it. The mistake we make is that we think that, oh, but really I have this problem which is still left. Now what do I do about it? How do I fix it? And what tool will you send to remove this attachment? Nothing. You don't have anything like that. So just your noticing is enough. Just no noticing it now. But now that you noticed it and now you exposed it, forget about it. You see, otherwise you'll just uh, you'll just become like that pretend patient. No? <laughs> like I have this condition. What is the condition? I'm attached to my condition. <laughs> I know my jokes are mostly funny to me, but <laughs> <laughs> but this is the the pain of the spiritual seeker. I am now attached to everything that is supposed to rid me of my attachments. Is how you define a spiritual seeker. We have this conversation. But if I don't even do this stuff now, then what am I going to do? Isn't this supposed to free me from all attachment? I'm saying, yes, let go. But if I let go, <laughs> then who is left? You're doing well, my dear. You're doing well. All is good. All is good. <laughs> okay.